here's hoping this actually fucking works this time, because, ha, oh, Windows Movie Maker. First few Wi-Fi, 6th gen Wi-Fi battles that I want to do, and you decide to crap out. Thank you, thank you, companies who tried to sue Microsoft because their product was too good. <sighs> oh, whatever. Anyway, yeah, this is actually my third 6th um, gen Wi-Fi battle, and it's against Gummy. The uh, person who took my 6th gen virginity was uh, Darky. Unfortunately, whenever I try and put that button into Windows Movie Maker, it craps out at all about 9 minutes 38 seconds. However, when I actually look at the video file, in, well, when it's not in Movie Maker, the sound cuts out at 9 minutes 38 seconds. So it might actually have been a problem with the webcam. I don't know. I switched up the webcam and I had a battle against Coop and I watched that in the thing and that worked okay but I didn't want to record that because Coop didn't want his team made known until he, you know, because he wants to do a series with his team and stuff. But there we go. Anyway, yes, my team, it is done. I can battle now, blah, thank God. And uh, Gummy was happy enough to oblige and he wanted to avenge his uh, Bennett from all the horrible comments that I've been giving it, um, and he does bring a Mega Burnett, and I guess we'll, we'll see what it does. He does have um, a fairly interesting team. He's got Carbink, Burnett, uh, Tyrantrum, <coughs> Galvantula, uh, Gigalith, and Trevenant. Um, he actually brought quite an interesting set of guys. His um, Carbink didn't have Sturdy like I thought it would. He had an um, ability swapping move, and I was like, cool. So, Gummy definitely showed up bringing some interesting shit, which is what I really should have done. But, as I have said, I, I wanted my first team that I bred to be something that I'm happy and I'm capable and I know I enjoy using. So, there you go. Anyway, Gigalith's here. I figured it was going to go Stealth Rock straight away. And, um, yeah, there's my camera. Doesn't the camera angle look so nice? I'm so fucking tempted to buy a new one because it's driving me fucking mad. It really is. Like, the first one doesn't work properly, and then this one, which is uh, one that my mum was using, for some reason, like, it won't get to the angle I want it to get to. And I have to stand, like, books and stuff underneath the left side of the DS just to get it to a, like, level angle. It's just, like, it's fucking stupid. Anyway, um, I kind of, yeah, I was expecting him to go Stealth Rocks and then, you know, just blow up like they usually do. And that's pretty much what he does. I was not expecting the Stone Edge first, but I was very happy with how well Rotom took it after a reflect. <coughs> and I was also very happy with how well Tentacruel took that, you know, explosion. But I suppose it was technically at minus four, so it really should have taken it well anyway. But here comes Burnett. Can Burnett avenge itself? Can it prove that it actually is good? I'm going to spoil it for you. No. No. No, it can't. Why? Because I get a burn. He has already, he has shown there that he has noticed that Burnett gets way fucking better special moves, but does it have the special attack to pull those special moves off? By buggery. Um, he does show he has the Pranks Destiny Bond, which would be fine, but even if I didn't get the burn on him, I have Toxic. I, I don't care. Nope, I do not care in the slightest. Tentacruel will sit here for years and I can wait out his Destiny Bond, so... Burnett is shit. It just is. It's probably the worst Mega they made. Mega Aerodactyl was pretty fecking awful, but Mega Burnett is just shit. I'm very sorry, Gum. That's the hard and honest truth of it. Anyway, he makes quite a smart play here. I figured he'd go for a sticky web because I'm a derp. Um, he obviously knew that, so he's going to Volt Switch and then go into his uh, Trevenant, but you know what? I'm okay with that. The amount of fucking harvest ones of these things I've seen, um, my first priority was Toxic needs to be put on this thing or I fucking lose. So I land my Toxic, that's good, I don't mind losing Tentacruel, it's a bit inconvenient, but I'll deal. And now, guess who gets to come in and make his place known in the grand scheme of things? Yeah, fucking Gyarados. And you wanna know what Gyarados does? He does what Gyarados always does. He rapes everything he sees. Um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I don't know. It, it wasn't really uh, Gummy's fault, although there were a couple of things. If he'd brought a uh, sturdy carbink, he probably would have had a better shot at this. Because um, I pretty much just torn DD and then start waterfalling and stone edging things. And I'm happy to report stone edge did not impede me in any single way. So there you go. Um, the uh, one thing he has which um, was actually able to... Uh, 
tank the plus two uh, waterfall because I don't have any attack investment in this Gyarados was his, um, oh god, what the Tyrantrum. But you'll see what happens to him. You'll see what happens to him. It's quite funny. Um, but anyway, it's not looking great. Uh, he is actually running an interesting Trevenant as well. Like I say, it's a uh, natural cure set, as you see from the uh, lack of toxic on it. And um, it has Horn Leech, um, Destiny Bond. I believe he showed Destiny Bond, which is very, very cool. Um, you know, EQ, so it's definitely offensive Trevenant. And like I say, I like that, but Stone Edge, smash, done. <laughs> oh, Gyarados, where would I be without you? Where would I be without you? Oh dear. Anyway, he's going to go try his Carbink again. Uh, and unfortunately, because he doesn't have Sturdy, I'm fairly certain Carbink gets Sturdy. I think. I don't know. Most sets I've seen of Carbink have got Sturdy. There you go. Gun brought some cool stuff to the table. And again, I really should have done as well. But I don't know. We'll get to my trademark goofiness at some point before the end of the year, I'm sure. Anyway, I was kind of expecting him to go into Galvantula at some point, because I kind of figured with the Volt Switch he was probably scarfed, although when you consider that most of them, or all of them, will definitely carry Sticky Web now, that was kind of a dumb thing to assume. But, yeah, it kind of made sense to me. And here is the Tyrantrum, and guess what fucking happens? Oh yeah, gets flinched. Good game, Gom. Gyarados is a cock, we all know, but he is a most magnificent bastard indeed. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully battles will get a bit better from here and quality will improve from here. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.